Hello and Merry Christmas, I'm Ben from Twinkle. Today I am looking at some Christmas crafts which are fantastic for all ages. Let's take a look. We have these wonderful split pin Santas, which if you print in black and white, children can colour themselves. Or why not create a reindeer headdress? Or a paper plate robin? To help find halfway up the paper plate following the instructions, fold the second plate in half. Then mark and cut your folded plate in half, ready to make your wings later. If you don't have any red tissue paper, you can thin some red paint with water and use regular tissue. Simply soak it, bundle it into a bowl and set it aside to dry. Then assembling your wings with split pins or glue if you don't have any. Then time to assemble with the rest of the parts. And our homemade tissue paper gives a great effect. If, like me, you or your child aren't great at wrapping presents, we have this guide to help you. Then children can use this writing frame to explain how to wrap to a friend. For this resource I've printed two to a page and then one to a page, and I'm going to create some gift boxes for a display. First, I'm going to colour with bright colours. Then it's time to cut them out carefully, taking care to keep the fins on each of the faces. Next, fold carefully across each face and each of the fins. This will help with assembly later. Next, starting with the face that's got the most fins, glue one side, taking care to line it up really, really carefully, and then work your way around the rest of the fins, ending with the face that has just one fin. You might like to try some beading, which is great for developing those fine motor skills or a footprint snowman, perhaps a Christmas tree made with lolly sticks, or create a felt stocking working on those sewing skills, or perhaps the classroom classic, the hand print Santa. This is great for all ages of budding artists. Start by following the instructions, painting the hand, and then printing it onto your paper. You might find, like me, that there are some gaps in your Santa. That's okay, I'm going to use some brushwork to fix that. Then here I'm just mixing a lighter skin tone, just to give me an impression of where the nose will go. Using a broad, flat brush, I'm creating a feathery light look for that fluffy beard. Then, of course, I'm going to add the moustache. Tidying up that hat to get the full shape. And then I'm going to start adding details, and really it's up to you to go as far as you like. Have fun crafting and have a very Merry Christmas.